Well, hello, Valley View. It's Mr. Renner again, and we are about ready to start almost the end of Theme 10. Do you know or have you ever given money to somebody and not gotten something back or not expected something back from them? Or have you ever given money to someone or to some group of people just to be nice? Or has your um, grown-ups at home ever done something like that? Um, do you know what the word charity um, is or what a donation is? Well, we're going to be reading um, the very last story about money and this theme about money is going to be about giving money away called charity or a donation. And we're going to be reading that over the next two days. And of course, we are going to have to start with some vocabulary. Okay, let's get started. So here we are on theme 10, lesson eight, and we're just going to start out with a couple of vocabulary words that I think you might want to know. First two words are going to be borrow, which is something that belongs to someone else and you return it later. So sometimes I borrow books from the library and then I have to give them back. They're not mine, but I can use them for a little while. You could also borrow money from people or you can borrow somebody's car if I need to get somewhere. A budget, we actually did this, I think last week in a story. I can't remember what story it was, but we learned that a budget is a plan for your money, a plan to save money and a plan for spending money in the future. The other words are going to be fee. A fee is the cost of something for service or a membership. Um, for instance, there's a fee if you um, want to go to the gym or something like that. A six month membership would have a fee. Invest is when you take your money and give it to somebody else and then they'll give you more money back. And a lot of times you hear about the stock market. That is a very popular way of investing where you can buy shares and you hope that the shares go up to get more money back. It's a way of making money. It's a way of making um, more money than you had before. If you invest, it could go up and get you more money. Personal. Personal can mean something that belongs to somebody. It can mean something that's important to me, like this is a very personal topic, or it could just mean that this is my personal computer that I am working on. It is not the school's computer that I borrow, okay? So our five words for this week are borrow, budget, fee, invest, and personal. OK, remember, we are going to have a quiz on these 10 vocabulary words, the five from today and the five from last week. So write these down. I'm helping you by showing you what these words mean. Write them down in your notebook so that you know. And helping others is going to be our story for today. Helping others one dollar at a time. There are a lot of different ways of helping people. Um, this is a way in this story about helping people with money that maybe they need or they don't have. It's on page 348. And before we get started, how do you feel when you help somebody? Especially how do you feel when you help somebody and they say thank you? Or how do you feel when you help somebody even when they didn't ask? Um, what do you know about charities or groups that help other people? There are some groups. Um, either some churches or maybe some nonprofit groups or other groups like uh, our school knows a few of them that just help other people all the time. That's what they do. Um, that's like their job. What do you know about them? Are there any other examples? I gave you two. You know, there are some churches or mosques that can do that or maybe there are um, food shelf organizations. What are some others that you know of? We're going to read and find out ways we can help others, especially ways that you help money, help people using money. So turn in your source book, your turtle book, to page 348, and we'll get started, okay? Helping others one dollar at a time, page 348. I'm going to make that a little smaller, by Susan Ripley. Imagine what you would do with $20 right now. You could probably think of lots of things. You might buy a toy, a book, a t-shirt. You might go to the movies or invest your money with a bank. 
invest, remember, is one of our vocabulary words. You could invest your money by putting it in a bank and hoping you can get more money later. Did you ever think of giving your money away? When you use your money to help others, the good feeling you get can last a long time. You can help others with your money, one dollar at a time. Read on to find out how. There's this chart here, and there's a question in the packet today, so I'm not gonna tell you what kind of chart this is, but maybe you know what these are called, these green parts here, and that's the type of graph. The top reasons people gave money, 81% is to help the needy. That means you help people who really need it. 75% said because it felt right, and 22% said as an example for others, which is be like, I am going to donate my money or I would give money to charity so that you all can see what a good thing it is. That would be what this means. So, but it looks like most people, 81% of people and 75% of people did it to help others and because it feels good. The types of charities people gave, wow, that is already 15 years ago, but I bet this hasn't changed that much. Disaster relief, it's World News Wednesday. Do you know what's happening in Texas right now? There are a lot of people giving money because it is super cold in Texas and people don't have any electricity or water, so they give money. Food pantries, Sometimes you can go and collect food. I've done that and Valley View has done that. Um, you give money to people so that you can give groceries to people that really need it. Organizations for the sick. I could talk about that. Um, my godmother does a lot with that and I could talk about that if you have questions. Animal relief, you don't just have to help uh, people that need it, you can help animals that need it or homeless shelters. Homeless shelters, if you, um, don't have a home, you live at a shelter, those shelters need a lot of money. So you can maybe help them. The big picture, how can you help? There are three questions here and let's see the answers. How can I give money to others? Find out about a charity you want to help. A charity is an organization that collects money to help others. It does not make a profit. Ask your family or talk to people in your community. Then work with an adult to send money to the right place. Here is one organization that builds houses. Habitat for Humanity, I used to work for them. They build houses for other people who need one. Why should I be careful when I give money? Oh, so you don't just give the money, you have to be careful. Always ask an adult before giving money away. Sadly, some people only pretend to collect money for others. Most charities are honest and do important work. Good tip. How do I save money to give to others? You can set aside some of your allowance. If you get an allowance from some grownups, that means they give you money every week. Maybe you can save some of that. Or money you receive as a gift. For a charity, small amounts of money add up quickly. We're going to stop there. We'll talk about these two different organizations that help people, the Rainforest Alliance and Read to Feed. We'll talk about them tomorrow. Okay. For today, let's look at your packet. And here it is. Read page 348 and 349, $1 at a time. Is this fiction or nonfiction? Is this telling a story? about people that probably are made up? Or is it nonfiction? That means that it's talking about another topic. What type of fiction or nonfiction is it? Who's telling the story? Is it a character in the story? Does that person say, I am going to do this, I'll give money to this, or we did this in the past? That would be first person. Otherwise, it's probably third person. Asking questions about the author's purpose will help you. Does asking questions about the author's purpose, why the author wrote the book, help you understand the main point of reading? Figure out how things sound, feel, or smell? Relate the text to your life? Or figure out the meaning of difficult words? We've kind of been helping you with this, but I'm not going to tell you which one it is. 
And finally, look at the graphs on page 348 and 349. Oh, sorry. Here's the one graph. And here's the other graph. It's those graphs. What is the name for that type of graph? I gave you a hint. I didn't tell you, but I gave you a hint. What was the most popular reason people gave money in 2005? That is from this graph right here. What's the most important reason, the biggest reason people gave money? And what is the most common type of charity that people give to? Which one is the most common? Well, that's all we're going to do for today. Um, we'll talk about the rest of them tomorrow, but this is all we're going to do today. Um, copy down that vocabulary and I will see you later.